Once again, welcome everyone and happy Monday. Uh, welcome to today's session, ISET Robotics Basic M1. Uh, we hope you're going to enjoy this fascinating world of robotics. Um, please pay attention to your chats. We'll be sending you the relevant emails that you're supposed to send in concerning any related issues concerning today's uh, session. Without wasting any time, I'll hand over to Manier Johannes for the house rules. Thank you so much, Tamela. Welcome everybody to today's session. We only have a few small house rules for today. We would like to ask everyone to please mute your cameras to save data and bandwidth. Also to mute your microphones to keep all the background noise to minimum. If anybody has questions at any point in time, please feel free to raise your hand. Or if you have some mic problems, please put it into the chat area. And then um, I think that's all from my side. Over to you, Dr. Hoes. Awesome. Thank you very much. Sure, I'm just trying to get organized here. I'm trying to. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. So it's Monday. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm well, I'm, I'm reading the, the list of, of participants, and some of the names look familiar. Um, so welcome back. We're glad you've joined us again. And there's a couple of new names. So I'm wondering, um, Tumelo, would you like to add a chat onto the onto the no chat, a poll onto the chat. Uh, so we can just to see how many are, do we have as new new members? Where's Tamila? Tamila, you're going to add the chat to us for us, the poll. There we go. All right, so we'd love to know how many of you are brand new to, to this uh, live online learning. Um, and if you are, you're really most welcome. Um, if you are rejoining us, that's awesome. Welcome to the community, and you can you're welcome to share your experiences thus far. You're welcome to to chat with other in the group. Um, Tamela, do you have the poll? Yes, he's busy typing it now. Nice oh, typing it. All right, there we go. Please let us know. Are you joining us for the very first time today? Yes or no? We'd love to hear from you, please. On the, on the chat, just submit. You've got to pick yes or no and then submit your vote. Let's have a look whether we have. OK, so we've got one person responding, two people responding. OK. All right, I'll leave it. I'll leave it up in the chat and you can respond as we go along. Um, so by way of introduction, we, we are the ISEC team and um, we really um, appreciate your joining us. So I'm going to start with a presentation. And um, really, we, what we're doing in this session is really building the really the basic robot. Basic. And I've got a whole lot of robots here. So, so this is the baby robot. This is just a little Riley Rover. Straightforward. It's got it's got two motors. It's got a brain. It's got axles and it's got wheels. Baby robot. Um, the sensors are only in are only in M2, which is the next session afterwards. But but um, that's already an upgrade. All right. We really want to concentrate on building strong robots that the learners can actually program to do something and then and then we get the ball rolling all right um i have a whole lot of robots parked here and and with with time i'd probably show you um where we're going to we want our learners to be able to take um basic building instructions and be able to build a robot to build a frame of reference and then we want them to start modifying the robot so we're aiming for robots like this we teams design their own robots or modify their own robots for form and function, all right? This comes um, with years. This comes with experience and comes with learners who, who are willing to go outside the comfort zone according instructions. All right, so I'm going to start um, my presentation and then tell the, ask the team just to monitor the, the lobby. Um, if I can ask, there's, there's somebody who's got their... Um, Just to everybody to mute your microphones and your um, and your videos, and then let's start the session. And we will. I've got three different sessions, so we will take a break in between. And please ask the questions. All right. So we're going to let's start with the first session. And here we go. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. I just need somebody just to confirm that they can see my my slideshow. It's coming through now, Dr. Hoes. Yes. Yes, it's through. We can see the presentation. Awesome. awesome. 
All right, so so really welcome. Uh, this is for, for today, tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday. This is kind of where we're going to kind of guide our teaching and learning. Um, and at the ICET Robotics MOOC M1 um, is where the content is. And um, at the end of the session, I'll introduce you to Tomello, who's going to who's going to be your go-to person. All right, so we've got myself and Cabello. Um, and then Anzani and Tomello are on the ICET email. And then Kasper, you've, you've heard his voice here, and, and Anzani is going to do some analytics with us just now. Okay, so that's the team that we have for today. Um, this is our navigation information. So you're currently in our ICET Robotics live online learning session. Um, oh, there's a spelling error. Um, they're on the MOOC. There's only one M in MOOC, by the way, so that one M must go away. Um, Tumelo and Anzani are kind of in, are living in the mailbox, so they'll answer your questions. Um, and that's where the sessions are on the UNISA MOOC portal. But if you have any trouble creating an account and logging on, um, please send us an email. All right. So just, um, oh, Tamela, this is your slide. Do you want to quickly go through it? Or should I just say it? Uh, you mean the MOOC portal? It, it's just some information about the MOOCs. All right. Um, gentlemen and ladies, um, once again, thank you so much for being part of today's session. Uh, please note that uh, we've got uh, MOOC, which stands for Massive Open Online uh, Community, if I'm not mistaken. Course. Course, yes. So uh, with this course, uh, the course is certainly uh, zero rated, meaning that uh, when you use your um, data, um, immediately when you log in, you don't get charged. And um, we're using this as well for part of our research and evaluation. And uh, we've got a pre-MOOC and a post-MOOC. Uh, so now I'll just uh, kindly ask Dr. Hose to please share my screen so that I can show you how to create an account. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, wait a minute. There we go. Um, so you can see, see your my screen? screen? Yes, perfectly. Yes. Great. As you can see on the screen here, just here on the UNISA logo, just in the bottom, it's written how to register. So immediately when you click on how to register there, so you will see this PDF document. So this PDF document, these are the instructions on how to register for a MOOC. So step one is firstly for you to go to the UNISA MOOC portal, whereby you will be using the following link. And then you create your own user, I mean, your own MOOC account, whereby you have your own new account in your details, whereby you're creating your own uh, username and password. So when you are done with that, um, it will require you to fill in uh, your first name, your last name and everything that you see there. So as soon as you're done, that's when you have to start enrolling for a MOOC. So if you want to start to enroll for a MOOC, so this is what will happen. The next step here, like I mentioned, um, let's say for example, you have now created your own username and your password. You just click on login. So immediately done uh, clicking on logging in, um, you have to go here, just underneath the UNISA logo, there is membership. So when you click on membership, it will show you uh, the different types of uh, MOOC sites that you can join. Because I'm already part of uh, a lot of uh, sites here, I chose my current sites. But because of you, this will be your first time joining this. Just, you just click on joinable sites. So immediately when you click on joinable sites, it will show you different types of uh, MOOC portals or MOOC sites where you can join. So you will definitely look for the one written ISET Robotics M1 2022. Immediately when you see that one, you click on ISET Robotics M1 2022, which will appear on your top. As soon as you are done, this is the welcome page that you will be seeing, whereby it will be explaining what this MOOC portal is about. So the aim of this uh, M1 MOOC is about, uh, is, is to equip you educators, students, and the community of leaders to coach and to mentor teams of learners in robotics, and to explore and discover the exciting world of robotics. Please note that no prior knowledge is required for this MOOC. M1 consists of four online units. Each unit has learning material and an ISET Robotics live online learning webinar. 
which is taking place this week. Additional materials are included and are and also recommended. The M1 MOOC is available from February until the 30th of November 2022. So ensure that all this is to ensure that all students are given the opportunity to submit all the requirements for the completion of this M1 MOOC. I hope this is clear for any other uh, challenges or inquiries that you might have. Please don't hesitate to email us. Uh, I will certainly show you the email address on the chat box. Over to you, Dr. Hose. Thank you, Tomelo. So everybody who has any questions on the MOOC will phone you and we'll get hold of you. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, so let's move on with the content. Thanks, Tomelo. Okay. So let me share my screen again. Let's just carry um, on. Dr. Hose? Yes. I just want to ask uh, Daphne, can you just please uh, mute your video, please? Okay. Daphne? Uh, Can I continue? Uh, are you looking at my phone or you can just... Oh, yes, Dr. Hose, you can continue. Um, can you just mute that, that participant? Uh, it's um, Shakane. Do you guys have a question? Okay. Can you just maybe uh, mute your microphone? Okay, your cameras, please. Thank you. And uh, Daphne, also, please. Okay, Dr. Khaus, ready. Awesome, thank you. Okay, so here we are. Um, so this is now, we uh, for a long time, uh, we had live sessions in our robotics hub um, on the science campus. We are now online and we have four sessions of just basics. We have a class culture. We'd love to equip our robotics coaches, whether you're an educator, a student, a trainer or facilitator. You've got to be brave and ask the questions and the, the recordings are all available on the MOOC portal. So if you've missed something. All right. So in the four sessions we have, we are looking on the one hand on the engineering, on the one hand programming, and in between is all the 21st century skills that our learners are going to develop. So for today, we're just concentrating on building a basic robot. And I have two robotics kits that I use. The one is the EV3. And the newest version of the EV3 is then the Spike Prime. However, I still have a lot of NXTs as well here. All right. Um, in, in terms of programming our robots, which we're going to do tomorrow, if you have an EV3 kit, you can use the EV3 lab programming, or you can use the EV3 class programming, which is the scratch version of it. Or you can use the Spike Prime robotics kit, um, and that comes with the scratch Spike Prime programming. Okay. We have a, a really a plethora of resources that we can share and use, and we really welcome you to share any um, lessons that you might have or that you might find. So for EV3 Robotics Kit, we build the little Riley Rover. You can download that. For Spike Prime, you'll be going to build the driving base. There are lessons, there are tutorials, there are YouTube videos on how and wow. Um, so um, welcome to a whole new world. But let's just take one step back and say, so, okay, so what is this robotics? So a robot can either be mobile where it moves around or it can be fixed. So um, a fixed robot would be like an arm that can pick things up and sort things. So we're going to just um, stick onto the mobile route. And the mobile route goes either aquatic, which goes into the water, terrestrial on land or on the moon surface, that's also terrestrial, or airborne, so the drone. So we're going to focus on terrestrial. And then there's two aspects of terrestrial. Either they're wheeled for motion or they're legged. And I think for now, we're just going to look at the wheeled. We're going to present a whole lot of projects, and that's probably going to be in May or June. And that'll be some really cool projects we can have with legged terrestrial mobile robots. All right. Um, so, so you've got to know the robots. It's, it's a whole um, community. And um, the 10, they've, they've actually got on the internet the 10 cutest robots. So they've got Wally, -E, Wally -E we know, and R2D2 is kind of a robot, and then K9 is a, and then Buzz Lightyear is also a robot. Um, but it'd be good for you to, to kind of get to know these robots. Um, maybe we should have a quiz on, on which robot is which, um, maybe towards the end, that'll be lots of fun. 
All right. Um, the most popular robots, and this is Sophia. Um, very strange. Um, yeah. Uh, very lifelike, very... Um, uh, you've, your brain plays tricks with you when you think she's only a robot. Um, that she's in number one position, but uh, go and look, if you've got some time, go and look at Boston Dynamics and go and see what they're doing with robotics. It'll blow your mind. All right. But for now, I mean, with every great adventure, we do need to start somewhere. And so if you have an EV3 robotics kit out of one box, you can build all these robots with building instructions. And then you can modify these build, these robots to build your own robots and design your own robots. And that's where we want to be. So we are going to build from building instructions to create a, a frame of reference to know what we're building. And then once we've got all these cool ideas, um, then we start building our own robots. All right. One kit used to build many designs. Okay. And we've got to start somewhere. So we're building just a wheeled robot, um, kind of like this one here. This is a Riley Rover. This is a Riley Rover with a, with a gripper which we're going to do in the M2. And this one has got an ultrasonic sensors, which we're going to do with M2. All right. So that is just as by way of, of an introduction. Okay. So I'm going to share. Uh, I'm still sharing. Oh, yay. Okay. Here we go. I'm just going to ask, um, can you see my, my, my um, slideshow? Anybody? I see the screen, Dr. Uh, there we go. There I see it. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so, so now in unit one, we're really going to focus on wheeled robots. So robots that propel or move with wheels, okay? And um, you can find many designs on, on the internet, um, uh, building instructions for many different designs of robot, but each robot must have a function, okay? So you build a robot according to what it has to do, all right? A robot is built of components and you need to be able to name the components, okay? Does it have beams? Does it have axles? Does it have sensors? Does it have weights? Does it have gears? All right. But you need whatever robot you're building, it needs to be sturdy and rigid in structure. All right. And a robot must have a source of power. Okay. So um, some of the robots come with, with batteries. Um, that can get very expensive if you have a very hardworking team of, of, of learners. So I would definitely suggest you have the rechargeable battery pack and you must make sure that your robot is charged before class. All right, I'll show you now where the, where the charge is. Okay, so we have objectives. You need to be able to build the following things in unit one. You need to be able to build a wheeled robot. So it depends what's, what kit you have, either a Riley Rover. Um, you can build a, build a droid bot or a driving base, which it's fine, all right? Um, and then you need to be able to build a different wheel design and you need to be able to judge which is which is better, which is which is more um, adapted for a certain function. OK, there is a document called a Constructopedia. And the Constructopedia presents different robots. So whether you put the wheels, ach, the motors under the brain, alongside the brain, whether you let the brain stand vertical or horizontal. Um, it's a very good idea to build different chassis in the Constructopedia. And once you've built the different chassis, then you put wheels on and make it move. And then you can maybe evaluate and say, so which of these designs would work better in which situations? All right. There's another design with track tires. Then you'll have a flatter robot maybe. And that's also something. And then maybe just as objective number seven, try and build a non-wheeled robot. So just that you have an idea of the different kinds of building that you need to do. And then you need to build them. So, so these are objectives, what you need to be able to achieve. And there is you actually need to, in the activities, you need to select some of these activities and do some of these activities. All right. So if you, if you think of an overview, we're going to build it now in unit one. We're going to make it move um, tomorrow. We're going to do some problem solving on Wednesday, and then we're going to apply some more engineering to modify the design and build an attachment on Thursday. Okay, so this is what the robotics kits look like. You'll find there, there are gears, there are connectors, there are straight beams, there are bended beams, there are connect, more connectors. You'll see there's all the sensors. At the back is a media motor, two large motors and a brain, and then lots of wheels and lots of fun. 
Okay, very similar to Spike Prime. Um, Spike Prime has got a little bit of color. <laughs> um, robotics, for robotics, in terms of robotic kits, we can build exactly the same robots, maybe a slightly different design, but the same function. Okay. Um, I have a thing about sorting. You need to be organized. It's not good to have just a whole box of pieces where you, every time you want to find a piece, it needs to be organized. Organized thinking needs organization. All right. Um, when you're building, um, you always need to remember that there's an input, a process, and output. Your input are your senses, which we're going to do in the M2 sessions. Your processing is always in the brain, okay, where your program is. And the output is the movement that happens, right? And your movement can also be programmed, but it's um, ro um, the motors moving to make the robot move. Now, friction and track, these are all concepts I think most learners have been introduced to in technology. Um, but it is important to remember that this is not about the words and what the words mean. This is where learners need to actually apply. So let them run a robot on a tiled surface and then on a um, on a carpet, and then they can see what the difference is. Okay, the center of gravity and the weight distribution. If you uh, how you organize your robot, if it's too heavy, um, it needs more power. Okay, wheels, axles, pulleys. Uh, well, the wheels have got to move with axles, but the axles also must be sturdy. Uh, we will do gears. We will do gears and power transmission in M2. Um, mechanical efficiency. These are all things that the learners learn as they go along. Engineering design process, we will do it on Thursday. All right. So by way of introduction, you have to have wires connecting your sensors much to your brain, much like we have optic nerves and all these sensory nerves that are going to our brains. It needs to have... Um, it needs to be connected. So these wires you kind of click in, I'll show you now, it actually needs to click into the brain. Okay. Um, the, the spike looks a little bit different, but but nonetheless, there are the, all the sensors, there are the motors, and there's the brain, and the brain looks very colorful. All right. The spike prime pieces also, axles, wheels, gears, bendy, bendy beams, straight beams, much the same thing. All right, so just maybe as an introduction, if you hold an axle against the beam and you you see this is as long as three holes, then that's a three axle, that's a four axle, that's a five axle, you know, that's a six, seven axle. So it's named according to the number of holes in the beam that's of a length. All right, and that's just for if. So if you have a look at a kit, there are 10 of those, 14 of those, um, four of those. So that's the length of the axle in terms of holes. All right. Um, Okay, so vocabulary. It's about vocabulary, and you want your learners not to think about thingies and other thingies and big thingies and other thingies. So you have to use the correct terminology. And this, what you're doing, unit one, straight away, you're creating good habits. All right. We're going to get our learners to go to competitions. We're going to get our learners to be able to explain to a panel of judges how do they build the robot? And the team that goes in and says, well, we've used a four axle and then we've used a sensor connected to a wire and connect. It sounds a little bit better than, well, we put this thingy together and this thingy and that thingy, all right? Um, it's about doing it right and good habits and confidence. Okay. So you've got building instructions for EV3 and for Spike Prime. And the question I often get is, oh, yeah, but what robot to build and how do we build it? So here are a whole lot of, of robots that you can build. The Riley Rover EV3 is the easiest. And I think in our workshops, I think we've got it down to about six minutes that we can build a Riley Rover. I think the important thing to remember is that they, the learners must be able to build it, not from memory, but must be able to understand. And so you get them. Sorry, there's an echo on the line. Thank you very much. Um, that they build the same robot and then we modify it. Okay, and and it's and it's good. It's developing the skills. Um, yeah. So here are gazillion. Um, there are just all these sample droid bots and how to connect it and how building a robot. I just want to pause here and you you see over here it's got a a beam which is a like a frame around. The, I'm going to show you now an example. But just keep that in mind because then the axles are linked here, over here, to your brain, and they are linked to the outside 
frame, which means that if you have weight, the wheels at least will stay up straight. Okay. Building instructions usually come with no words. You just need to be able to follow instructions. All right. So this is step number three. You could to take one axle of length four plus a connector plus this connector. You put this axle into there and then you put that one into there and that piece you go into there. Um, may I just add that our learners are not good at following instructions. And so you as the coach, when they say, but ma'am or but sir, this robot's not built properly. You need to be able to take them the steps back to build a robot. OK, so also here, this is instruction. You've got to turn it over. This goes upside down and you put it through. Um, this is step number 22 already. OK, a really good video. This one is the building a basic driving base. This one, it goes step by step. There's the YouTube link um, just to build a really basic robot. Again, different types of robots, different building instructions. All right. And then for all us educators that are that really don't want to de um, develop our own learning material, but are good at modifying. OK, here is a really cool uh, download. It's called Classroom Activities for the Busy Teacher. Um, there's one down for EV3 and there's one for Spike Prime. Cool ideas. Um, but you know what? We've got to start somewhere. So let your learners build these basic robots and then get them to move on and to design their own robots. All right. Um, so what, why do we let the robot or the learners build? Well, first of all, the first skill they're going to get is 3D thinking. Remember, everything on paper is only two dimensions. To build in three dimensions um, and to convert a 2D to a 3D, um, that is an important skill. OK, so. Uh, please don't rush this. Let your learners have sufficient time to build. However, our learners don't follow instructions. Okay, so so um, you as a coach must be able to pick up where they are not following instructions um, and be able to guide them past that. Learning the vocabulary, um, beams and wheels and wires and sensors and that is all important. L pieces, T pieces. OK, um, it's about problem solving when the robot doesn't look like it's supposed to look. And then teamwork. Never, ever. No, there's no I in team. No. So teams not. I don't think less than three. Um, they need to learn to work together. It's a 21st century skill. We need to learn to work together. Um, that said, please don't make the teams too large because then you will get those who freewheel and they will get through a whole class without even touching the robot. And we don't want that either. So you as the coach really need to monitor well to make sure that every team member contributes to the teamwork. All right. Um, that is a link for the Constructopedia. I have found one for EV3 and there's an NXT one as well. I haven't found the one for, EV, for Spike Prime yet. So um, but it's just chassis, and then you need to be able to add the wheels and the wires, and you've got to make the thing move. And we'll make the robots move tomorrow. That's part of programming. All right. I'm just going to stop sharing here for a minute, and then I'm going to quickly – I'm going to do the last presentation quickly. And um, then I think we will we will pause a minute. So I'm just going to ask um, – Tumelo, can you see – or Casper, can you see my presentation? Um, not yet. Still waiting for it. Am I not sharing? Mm, yeah. Not yet. No. No. Okay. Let's start. Okay. I'll share um, again. Well, while while you are on uh, the sharing mode, uh, Nashal okay. asked me whether is this uh, the same as the previous month uh, sessions? Are these sessions the same? For M one, yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, so um, can I carry on? Um, I can see you've shared your screen. All right, uh, just Got put it. it in the slideshow and then all should be well. There we go. All is okay. well. Thank you. Okay. So um, this part of the presentation is is linked to building robots. And, yeah. and it's really important that you manage your class because if you have two wheels in your robotics kit and one wheel disappears, that means that all your teams afterwards are not going to be able to build robots. And that is not okay. 
Okay, so this part is about you as the coach. What is your responsibility um, to manage the robotics kits and also to manage teamwork? So this is not okay. You cannot have a gazillion pieces lying all over the place. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but this, this brain is toppling on the side of the laptop. It's plugged in. If somebody pulls that thing, this brain is going to come down crashing. Um, and then you don't have a brain. Then you can't build a robot. All right, there they've got a whole lot of pieces lying all over the place. Not okay. It's got to be sorted and in the trays. Okay, otherwise, um, you're just dis disadvantaging everybody else that's going to use the kit after you. Um, the, the important thing is to take care of something that is not your own. All right, it's not fun to build with incomplete kits. Um, and, and coaches, um, if you have a one and a half hour session or two, I used to have two hour sessions. All right. So the first half hour, the first uh, 15 minutes is to kind of introduce each other and to find how, where everybody is. The next 15 minutes is we present what we're going to teach on the day. Remember, you've only got a minute per year of your learners. So 15 year olds, you've got 15 minutes. Um, and then you've got an hour to, to do all the activities. Um, then the last half hour is cleaning up, number one, and presenting what you have learned. So it's really important that the learners clean up after themselves. And that includes putting the robot on top of the box, putting the pieces neatly into the box, um, saving your programs, shutting down the laptop, um, saving your programs on, on a removable disk. All right. Um, that's the one part. And the other part is they need to be able to put in words what they have learned. All right. Even if you hear the same story from every single team in your class, from every single learner, but every team member, every team member must be able to um, tell us what they have done. Okay. Um, cleaning up is really important and do not be caught at the end of a session where you have like tables that look like this and no learners in the class. Um, it's very cool that the parents come and fetch your children early. That's the escape route. That's because they don't want to clean up. No. All right. And every learner stays in the class until the whole team is cleaned up. All right. And then also always check under the table um, <laughs> because that's where the pieces lie. Okay. So I usually have in my class, I have lots of trays, lots of trays, pieces, and this is sharing. So this this uh, little boy is looking in the in the laptop, um, what the building instructions are. He's putting the things together and she is passing him the pieces that he needs. They need to be together. They need to work on a plan together. I even had some older kids in the class. They also need to work together. All right. Um, Taking care of your EV3 brick. Um, there's a cool video when things can go wrong, what you can do with it. And I think every coach needs to know that things do go wrong. Um, it's electronics. Okay. But what you do need to do is you need to keep your, your battery um, pack charged. So in the morning before class, in the afternoon, I would say put all battery packs on charge. Um, don't remove the battery pack in and out of your brain. Um, we found that that just uh, adds to the or decreases the life of your battery. Leave it inside the battery uh, in the brain. Leave the battery pack inside the brain. Um, you do need to update the firmware. You need to remove old projects. You need to connect the wires properly. Um, and this troubleshooting, you, which you're going to learn, you kind of learn as you go along. Um, but I think this video is a, is a good kind of starting thing. All right. Then you as a coach, um, you need to encourage teamwork, which is not always that straightforward. Um, they need to learn. So if you have one picking up the pieces, one reading the instructions, and one putting the pieces together, one checking that they're all, and then rotate those roles and responsibilities. Roles and responsibilities in terms of teamwork is really important. Do not assume, and, and I really encourage you, do not assume that because one child likes to read the instructions that she always wants to read the instructions. No, everybody needs a fair chance. Okay. Um, okay. In terms of resources to build robots, um, you usually build a robot according to a competition requirements. Okay, so there's virtual gear, there's first, there's 
World Robot Olympiad, and I will share all the details of those competitions as well. But there are building guides available. So whether you do it online, um, also there are Lego Digital Designer design guides that you can use to build robots. And then you will be able to open them on Lego Digital Designer, which is really cool because then you can step through it in a 3D format. Um, but there are a lot of um, members of this community that are doing online tutorials and YouTube videos as well. So you just need to shout if you need some specific things. Um, what I've highlighted here is this Builder Dude 35, um, the young gentleman, Kyle. Um, I think he started about 2015. He has created an amazing collection of, of videos and YouTube videos. And um, yeah, I just enjoy watching the, his videos. And then there's also the activities for busy teachers that you can download. Um, that will definitely keep your class busy. Okay. Um, in terms of, of sorting guides, there is a sorting guide. Um, if you don't have a robotics kit, you can always use virtual robotics options. Um, we have done a session last month. So those, uh, was it last month? Time flies. We did it in February, I think. All right. So um, the Lego Digital Designer, you're, you can build these designs. There's a, a virtual robotics toolkit. If you're going to try out virtual robotics toolkit, please don't um, pay subscription yet. You can always do a trial version and then chat to us if you want to continue. Um, Gearsbot is really cool because that's just for programming. Um, there's not much design there because the Gearsbot is a little little dinky robot, but that's more for teaching programming part of it. All right. Um, and yeah, the free. The free is the important part. Okay. So please go and install the, the software, the programming software for tomorrow's class, either EV3 or Spike Prime. Um, register for M1. Um, and Tomela has explained how you can access that. And um, yeah, find some great videos. But I really think you need to build at least one robot. Okay. And um, hopefully we can answer your questions. As I said, there's the email address. Um, Tomelo and, and Anzani live in that email address and they're happy to answer all your questions. And um, yeah. And if you don't have access to a robotics kit and you would like to, most science centers have robotics kits, so you're welcome to find out. Um, we also have in the robotics hub on campus, and if you'd like to come and visit us there, you'll just need to uh, maybe arrange with us because we're not always there every day, and we'd hate you to arrive at a locked door. But um, yes, so that said, you're most welcome. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing, and now I'm going to ask: Are there any questions? Um, maybe just for, as a, a visual. So this is the this is kind of the baby robot that we built first. This is the Riley rover. Um, and then there's a robot called Winning Design. I know this is with the NXT, um, but you can see this robot has got um, the, the frame around that I said to you. The cool thing about this is if you if you put an extra weight on this, then the wheels, you know, the wheels tend to go out like that. So this one, it keeps the wheels rigid in the frame. And so this, this is a much more rigid structure. Um, but this, so this was um, a modification of Winning Design, which the team, which the team built Mozart. This is Mozart, the robot. Um, then that was taken a step further, and for that's why I said form and function. So this robot was for Nature's Fury. We needed a flat robot. Um, again, it's, you can see it's got the frame, which is great for the attachment of passive attachments, but um, it needed to be flat. So what they, what this team did was that you can see the two motors are alongside the brain rather than under the brain. Over here, the motors are under the brain. Oh, this is also um, the six girls that built this made sure it was rigid. You can see I can hold it like this and it doesn't fall apart. Um, it's really important to build a proper structure. Okay. Um, the last thing you want is learners to come to a competition and the robot falls apart. Okay. So this is about building a rigid structure. This, this has got a really cool um, thing. It's got pins on the two sides. I don't know if you can see there's pins on the side there. If you pull these out, you can actually lift out the brain which is what you want. Um, another thing that you really need to remember um, is you need to be able to charge your robot. So there's a, um, where you put the charger in, um, you need to be able to access that. So this team then modified the, the frame of the robot. This is Mario and Mario has got a complete frame. Okay. We needed this for um, Mario. We'll sit after city shaper. 
I think that was the, the first one we did this with this one here. So yeah, it was a city shaper. So it was catching. So they built a frame around it. But the cool thing is underneath here, you can see it's all very compact. All right. And and then just to get access to the charger, they left it open. So they changed the design so they could get into the, the charger. Um, this team also then built a, um, a spike version of that. Um, also, same sides, closed. Um, and this charger, I don't know, oh, there, there's the charger. I, I knew it was somewhere there, but it's got a much smaller charger, but it's also exposed. So that was a good design there. All right. So build a robot, and then we move on. Okay, but you do need to have a robot that we can at least program tomorrow and make it do something. All right. Thank you very much. Tamela, are there any questions? Um, so far, no questions, but uh, Michelle, uh, I've been in contact with him earlier today, and uh, he seems to be struggling with the same problem on the MOOC site. Oh, no. I don't know whether, uh, Nashal, you are welcome to uh, share your screen with us, and then we can perhaps try okay, and so see. Uh, maybe, Tumelo, you can meet with Nashal afterwards. Okay, okay if that's is it, fine. Is it M1 or M2? Um, Nashal, kindly please unmute because uh, it's, he said it's M2 assessment. M2 assessment. Okay. Maybe All you right. can just um, assist him afterwards and then we'll, we'll take it from there. Okay. All right. Um, All right. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, kindly please uh, raise your hand or feel free to unmute yourself. This is the opportunity now whereby you're allowed to unmute yourself and... Uh, ask any questions regarding today's session maybe a good a good um poll for this would be have you built a robot have you ever built a robot it'll be interesting to know if there are any people here in the in the audience mm -hmm. who've never ever built a robot is there anybody anybody who wants to share maybe those who have built um your experiences of building a first robot anybody want to unmute and share your experiences is it as easy as we say it is Nobody's saying anything. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi. Oh, Hi. The echo on that line. Elizabeth, do you want to unmute yourself again? Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Can you hear me now? Perfectly. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you doing? I'm okay. So I was driving late. I had problems with my network. So I just wanted to find out for me to be able to access the beginning of the program. Where do I go later on? Okay. So you're going to join us for, for the next three days here on yes, the session, yes, yes, and we're yeah. going to discuss it. Mm. And then you need the the content is on the MOOC portal. Okay, okay, please write it down. Yeah. Yes. So okay. there's under the syllabus there's an overview document, and then there's uh, there are some quizzes on mm. on the on each unit. There's some quizzes, and there is a whole lot of content, and you can watch the videos. Okay, thanks a lot, Jay. All right, you are very welcome. You're very welcome. So yes, on that note, all these recordings will be uploaded to the MOOC site, oh. and you can. Yes. Okay. You're very welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so have you ever built a robot? Oh, we've got one one respondent who says yes. Anybody else who has built a robot? Okay. Uh, oh, we've got three already. Cool. So there's nobody who's never built a robot before. Then we're then we've we're um, well away. There is someone who hasn't built the robot yet. Okay, I'm listening. I'm listening. And, uh, it's Lillian van Fieren. Hi, Lillian. Hello. You've never built a robot before? No, no, I've never built one. 
Awesome. I've only worked with one with my child where we actually programmed the robot to move to the front, left, back, right, awesome. but I've never built one. So now's the time. Now's the time, definitely. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right, so Lillian is going to, it's going to tell us how to build a robot. Awesome. Cool. Yo. Thank you very much. Great stuff. Oh, Magdalene also says I've never built one. Oh, Elizabeth. No, I haven't either. Oh. I see okay. John's hand is up as well. Hi, John. Never built a robot. Looking forward to trying. There we go. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Well, we you see we're going to have to all build a robot. We're all going to build a robot tonight. We've got uh, Jaden's hand up. Hi, Jaden. Hi, everybody. I can listen. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. It's actually I'm using my son's profile. It's Anna speaking. I also joined it a bit later, and um, I see that the homework is that we need to build a robot. Um, is that we? If you don't have any pieces. Okay, so so do you have access to a robotics kit? No, I don't. Uh, are you at a science center? Well, I've got somebody who, and we're going um, on Saturday. Awesome. That's fine. That's awesome. The, the cool thing about these sessions is that we are, we are here as a community. So we're going to keep talking and we're going to keep learning. So maybe you can, you can make notes. And when you go on Saturday, take some photographs and share it with us. All right. Okay. We'll do. All right. So all the content, um, is available on the MOOC portal, on the M1 MOOC portal. There's some quizzes there as well. And um, and I hope to, to uh, upload some extra resources as well, which has been donated by one of the members of the community. So if you have extra things you want to share with us, you're welcome to share that as well. Okay. All right. Thank you so awesome. much. Okay. Bye. Sure. Okay. So we've got science centers going to be visited. Awesome. All right, you asked if they hand up, Mr. Miller. Um, Lindy, this, Lindy West's hand was up, and I don't know what happened to Lindy. Well, I'm sure maybe perhaps uh, someone answered uh, Lindy West's question. But uh, Lindy, well, you can go ahead. Okay. No. For now, we can go with uh, Male Kele. KK. Hello, I said team, and how are you? All the better for hearing your voice. <laughs> That's great. Um, thank you so much. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, my question is just based on the logins. So um, normally, Tumalo, what happens is when you click on that for God password, do they have to expect an immediate email to be sent through to them so that they can reset? Or what is the process? Because it hasn't been working for most of us. Um, usually it sends you an email immediately after you sent a forgot password to the registered email address that you have sent, that you registered with. But um, I don't know, did you check the email that you registered with? Yes, Jumela, it has been the case. I'll just like to ask you to test it as well, uh, yeah. that its functionality actually works because okay. we've been trying to reset passwords without any luck for most of our guys. All right, all right. Then I'll it's just on the it's just on the MOOC portal, KK. Correct. Yes, it's just on the MOOC portal where they've registered before, but now they forgot their password and they click on that forgot password option, but the link to the email doesn't come through immediately. How about you go to is it did you, did you go to the reset your password? And then you enter your email address there, and then you said uh, click on request password change. Did you try that option as well? No, to be quite honest, we didn't try that option, you know, because when you're logging, it only gives you that option for forgot password because you're not able to log in. I'm not sure where to find that option specifically. Do you need to be inside the portal or outside the portal to do it? Uh, you just need to be on the MOOC portal, not necessarily logged in. Oh, I see. It means, okay, now I see where the challenge is. The guys sure. using their phones, they don't see oh, that yeah. um, uh, menu. Can you see my screen? Right? Menu. 
Yes. Yes. No, so I'm with you, Dumelo. Below the, the user password logo, option. just there, there's reset password. You just enter your email address and then it will certainly just click on request password change and then that will help you. Thank you. So the advice is to rather use your PC for reset than the phone sure. because our phone doesn't give you that option. Thanks a lot. Yes, no okay, problem. Okay, will you just confirm with me then we can add that to frequently asked questions as well. Nice one, Dr. Holmes. Okay. Thanks. Great idea. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you see, so we help each other. Awesome. Thanks, KK, for raising that. Thank you very much. All right. Are we good? Yeah, it's been a hectic time. KK still saying, well done. <laughs> yeah, I see we have a lot of people that haven't bulk their robots yet. Cool. Um, the likes of uh, Everton, I haven't bought one yet. Uh, Sivo Toma, no, I haven't as well. Oh, you 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 noted uh, Magdalene Moses, Elizabeth as well, as well as Jaden and Van and Leyden. So yeah, but I'm sure one, two, three, four, five, six of our participants who haven't bought robots, uh, perhaps in the next session when we ask the same question, they'll give us a nice and interesting story to tell. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so so if you don't have access to a robot, you can at least download the software and start playing around with the software, and then we will we will continue our mission tomorrow to make these robots move. All right, so I, I see I'm running out of time. This is a really cool robot. This is a really cool robot, but a robot and a robot that a robot doesn't move is not fun. So the fun part is making it move. All right. And so we'll see each other again next week. No, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yay. Um, all right. So I'm just wondering who else is here in the in the group. Um, Cabello, are you still here with us? Do you like to close the session for us? Thank you once again for everyone joining us for today's session. And for those who are joining us for the first time, we say hang in there. It will all come together. <laughs> and for those who are joining us repeatedly, let your experience be an inspiration to the ones who are joining us for the first time. And thank you until we meet each other in the next session in the at Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Cabela. Thank you so much. All right, so we shall see each other again then tomorrow at three o'clock. Thank you very much. Um, for those who are going to go to the session now at four o'clock, um, you must know that it's kind of running in parallel, so it's the next level up. So um, you're welcome to join us, but just don't fear because you've got a piece that you're kind of missing out of the puzzle. All right. Thank you, team. Thank you, team, for everything, and we will see each other in the next session at four o'clock. Time to get some tea quickly. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, team. Bye-bye. Bye. See you now. Casper, you are stopping the recording, hey? <laughs>